I'm your host, Ashley Clyde, and today I am super excited to be joined today on the show by Asher Colton Spence, Kathleen Erlez, Diana Zermeno, the cast members of the new reboot Paramount Plus series, Dora, which launches on April 12th, 2024. Asher Colton Spence, known for his roles in Five Nights at Freddy's, plays Boots. Kathleen Erlez, the original voice of Dora, returns to play Dora's mother, Mommy. And Diana Zermeno, the voice of Dora. So first, I want to start off by asking you guys the question of, well, this is directed toward Miss Kathleen. So you're a returning cast member. You're the OG voice of Dora. And yeah. combining original cast members like yourself with new cast members, how has that been for you? It's been amazing. Um, it's a little overwhelming, but in a good way, <laughs> emotional, um, because it brings back so many memories. Um, but I'm so excited to be back and playing mommy, Dora's mom, um, hearing Diana and Asher's voice too when I'm recording is just it's it's beautiful. Like I when I first heard them, I started to cry just because I could I feel like I could hear the original cast in their voices and to to be able to feel that again was really special. And I know that the new viewers, this new generation, they're going to feel the same. And the people that grew up with me also with the original show, they're going to they're going to see that and they're going to feel that. And I'm just so excited for everyone to experience Dora all over again. <laughs> I love that, too. And, and speaking yeah of new generations um, and beloved characters, um, Diana, you know, you are playing the reboot for playing the reboot for Dora. And you've also played Dora in the past before in a previous project. So how is it like being the new Dora in this new generation? It's amazing, honestly. It's, it's a very great honor to be part of this show because you know it's really, really important to have a character like this that has um, Latina representation or Latino representation um, because, and that's also really important to me because um, you know she's part Mexican among among other things like Peruvian and Cuban, um, and I'm. Mexican, both my parents were born in Mexico. And, you know, when I see some episodes and she shares, you know, the food and the music, it really reminds me of, you know, what I've always like lived with and experienced. So it's, it's really, it feels great to share that with other people. And I'm glad that you mentioned diversity as well. Um, I watched um, at least two of the episodes and I heard reggaeton in there. I was like, <laughs> I was like, Ooh, it's so cool. And speaking of iconic characters, Asher, you play Boots, which is so cool. How is it like playing Boots in this new show? It's really fun. And, and like, it's such an honor. And, like, me and Boots have so much in common. Like, they, here's an odd one. We both like bananas for some for some weird reason. <laughs> I don't even know why. And uh, we're both really kind. And we're both really kind-hearted. And I love that. And one thing I want um, to mention, because Diana, you had brought it up, um, a big thing about Dora is her bilingual elements throughout the entire show, which is really important. So um, it's reflecting that multicultural audience that you guys were talking about. So how does that affect and add to the show's appeal? Um, Diana, we can start with you to elaborate more. Well, I mean, it's very important because it teaches people, you know, new words and, you know, new concepts. And, you know, I always think that no matter what age you are, you can be five years old or 30 years old. Mm -hmm. And it's never too late to, you know, learn about new culture, learn a new word, learn about new food, new music that, you know, you might enjoy. And that's awesome. And, and Miss Kathleen, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, I think it's really important um, to introduce like Dora's ethnicity as a with a multicultural background, because I think that will, you know, resonate with a lot of U.S. Latinos and other people who come from a multicultural background. Um, and that goes along with that representation. Um, and I think it's important. Yeah. And then another thing, um, another thing, too, that I really loved about the evolution of, of MAP is that, honestly, I feel like it's a, it's like a historical pinpoint in the technology, techno, technological advancements of, of the generations. We get a new animation for Dora as well. And Miss Kathleen, I want to, 
you know, direct this question to you. How is it like seeing the evolution of Dora from when you first started to where it is now? I really do love it. I think it, it goes to what you're saying, right? There's been changes in the world within animation and to see that reflected now in Dora's new world is really cool. And it's interesting, it's more vibrant. Everything that was there before is just elevated, right? And I think right. we can see that we're gonna experience that and um, you're gonna feel the nostalgia, but just in a new, brighter way, you know? Yeah, and, and again, I'm a very big fan of this show. I grew up in, you know, I was in diapers when this show was out, and I just love Dora. <laughs> so it's amazing to see the evolution. And then mm -hmm. um, one thing I want to ask you, Diana, is were there any challenges in voicing um, Dora this this new um, this new show? It was really fun to do it. I think maybe the only challenge is that Dora has a lot of energy, and I also have a lot of energy, but, you know, Everyone has their days when they're not that energetic. So sometimes I do like vocal warm ups or I just stretch. And, you know, I have my director with me. She's the best. And she, you know, helps me get into that Dora mood. And um, afterwards, it's just really fun to voice her. That's awesome. And this question will be for all three of you. Um, which character do you think you most resonate with? Is it Boots? Is it Dora? Is it Mommy? Is it Poppy? Is it is it Swiper? Like, who is it? How about you, Kathleen? Um, whew, I don't know. I feel like I feel like, this is probably like a cheesy answer, but I feel like <laughs> I I love them all. And I feel like because I grew up with the show and um, I feel like I have a little bit of each character that I like to hold on to and that I learned from. Like I try to be as funny and as energetic as Boots, you know, and I still love to be adventurous and try new things like Dora. Um, maybe I don't resonate so much with like the other characters, but I really, you know, I really love Dora and Boots. They're just so dear to my heart. And I'm trying to, you know, I'm not a mom yet, but I'm trying to think about my mom and my grandmother um, when I put a voice to to my role. So, yeah. That's awesome. And then finally you, Diana. I think Dora because, um, you know, Dora is always really nice to everyone. And I, and I always try to be really nice to everyone as well. And also because, you know, like I said, she's part Mexican and, I, and I'm Mexican too. So I just kind of like see myself in her. It's just really fun. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you <laughs> so much for talking with me, you guys. It's been amazing. Nice talking to you too. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Asher Colton Spence, Kathleen Erlez, and Diana Zermeno for joining me on today's show to talk about Dora, which premieres on Paramount Plus April 12th, 2024. I'm Ashley Clyde reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on another interview just like this one from me and my awesome teammates. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>